That's what you need to see from Max Sy, don't you? Has he really quick in a right hand has laid out Julio Seja, and it is over. Knocked out Julio Seja after a brilliant attempt at taking out Mark Maxayo. The Filipino has spun this fight on its head, and Sean Gibbons is in there congratulating him. But it was a bad. Very accomplished Mexican Julio Cesar Seja, who's been an excellent campaigner amongst the lighter weights over the last 12 years or so. We remember him for his trip to Doncaster many years ago against Jamie McDonald. He's the former WBC Super Bantamweight champion. And oh, how good shot about that for a start from Mag Sayo. Well. We wanted something special, and we might just get it within the opening 30 seconds. Julio Seja on his backside, and Maxayo exploding into this one. Biggest test of his life, and he has started on a mission here. Firing in body shots as well, and Manny Pacquiao watching his compatriot backstage. Pacquiao, Maxaya's hero, who he's looked up to his whole life, and now he's performing for him in part of the same stable. And Seha's a good fighter at 28, a former world champion, but in a whole heap of trouble in this opener. I mean, that was a brilliant shot. He just fainted the jab, turned it into a left hook, and Seha didn't see the shot coming. Beautiful left hook, bang on the chin. And he went down, but I think the head is cleared now for Seha. Caught cold a little bit, but it, you know, it was a fantastic left hook, lead left hook from Mag Seho. Absolute dream start from him. Misses there with the uppercut. Mag Seho. Is he the next coming from the Philippines? 22 and 0, as you can see from the statistics, 15 knockouts, and Say has done well to just get himself back into this first round. Yeah, I think you know it was more of a flash knockdown than anything. I don't think he was badly shaken by it. It was just caught a little bit cold, a shot he didn't see, he fainted the jab, leaded with a you know led with the left hook, caught him with good knockdown. I think, you know, Seha, certainly his head is cleared now and he's, you know, landed some good shots himself here, particularly the left hooks to the body. Blood to the nose, though, from Seha. On the canvas. And a stunning opener for Maxayo. 10-8 round. Yeah, good body shot there, though, from Seha, just to remind... Maxeo. Very quick, cute left hook. Yeah, just leaned in as if he was going to step in with the jab, and then the last minute just switched it, turned it into a left hook. So quickly, but he's come back very well, and it will really test Mark Maxeo from Ritzal in the Philippines. The white and blue, and the blue boots of Julio Seja. 15 fights down the line, more as a professional for Seja. He's been a world champion. He's seen it and done it, and he's still ambitious, despite the fact he hasn't had a win since 2017. Drew with Brandon Figueroa, and lost by stoppage to Guillermo Rigondo. But he looks full of beans and fire here. Yeah, I mean, you've you got to remember as well that, that that draw with Brandon Figueroa, that was, I think, he, he failed to make the weight for the Super Bantamweight. But Figueroa, Super Bantamweight world champion, absolutely brilliant fighter. So, you know, that, that result in hindsight, not a bad result at all. 
Well, he's a very established fighter, Julio Seja. And Mark Maxayo, well, he's had uh, all the talk and all the acclaim, but he's got to put it together when it really matters against these tough gladiators. He's just getting manoeuvred about a bit here. Just getting bullied by Seha. Yeah, impressed with the shot selection of Seha. And even there again, he's in the firing line, but he's keeping his gloves nice and tight. Good upper body movement as well. You know, and it's... It was Magseo that, you know, he was the one that wanted to break away and, and, and get on the move, get on his toes, get a breather. It's good pressure from Seha. It's relentless Vivo. from Seha. Esa. El lado derecho. Esa. And he just feels that physically he's stronger as well in there. And the advantage in speed that Maxayo has is being negated. Chopping away here, Seha. Better with the uppercut from Maxayo, who, when he puts a burst together, is impressive. Good action in the fourth. Yeah, good work there from Magsayo. He landed a nice uppercut, left hook, spun off the ropes, and got it, you know, got back into the center of the ring. But you know, Seha back on top of him again, looking to work that body, threading those uppercuts through the middle as well. Yeah. Lovely shot. Yeah, left to the body from Seha. Throws that so well. Yeah, just touches him up the middle with the right uppercut to try and correct, lift up the elbow. Then he throws that left hook long, really reaches right behind the back of the elbow. Uppercut and a right hand as well from Seha. Maxaya responds. Really good. Just keeping Seha at bay because the Mexican is moving through the gears, he's looking relaxed, he's finding gaps, and these body shots could, well, prove pretty costly to Maxayo down the stretch. The experience and everything with Seha, the youth and the promise with Maxayo. Yeah, Maxayo boxing well at long range, the jab's good, but it, the thing is, it, it's difficult to keep it at range because Seha's good at closing the distance, he's good at cutting off the ring, and he's putting the Maxayo where he wants him, backing him up top to the ropes. And he, he's so good, Seha, at mixing his attacks up when he is up close. He's got very good variety, good body shots there from Maxayo. But uh, just saying, Seha's good at finding those gaps, really good at opening up Maxayo. Maxayo coming off a good win. And a recent one this year against Pablo Cruz at the Mohegan Sun in Connecticut. Stopped him in four. 15 knockouts in those 22 victories. Say how normally pretty durable and resilient. So he can pick him off at times, can't he, Maxayo? With yeah. the speed of hand. Yeah, that was a good left hook counter. Just took that little half step back. Lead, uh, sorry, lead left hook counter. But, you know, when they're up close like that, even though Maxayo is having success, Seha is having the better of the action. He's got the better variety. He's finding the gaps better. I think physically he's stronger. You see him there. He can manhandle him a little bit. Blood from the nose of Maxayo. And oh, a body, body shot, shot was lovely from Seha. Definitely felt that. Did Maxayo. And Seha will smell that he'll know he'll feel it in there right hand he's looking very powerful here julio seha can magsayo cope in the heat of battle i mean magsayo certainly having success himself but i think what's really impressing me probably the most from seha is he knows when to stick nick a breather when to take a rest and he knows when to open up good body shots good uppercuts Penetrating the defense of Magsayo, who's trying to keep Sayer off him. Another body shot with the left hook from the Mexican. Yep. Seha hurting Magsayo here. These body shots, he's, he's mixing it up. Oh, oh down he goes. Magsayo. Clapperboard came in. 
and the bell will save him here, the young Filipino. But it's been a torrid round as Julio Seja has shown all his aggression and his quality. And there is work to do in that blue corner. If they're going to keep Max Sayo unbeaten, it's not looking good. Well, that was a big round, big, big round there from Seha. You know, it was a short left hook which caused the knockdown, but that came as a result from the good body work that he put in. He was landing those left uppercuts up the middle, into the pit of the stomach. He was touching him upstairs, switching it around the back of the elbow. There was great variety coming from the body shots. And then as a result of the work he was put to the body, he landed that short left hook upstairs, got the knockdown, and big, big round for Seha, 10-8. And, you know, you have to say the momentum with him in a big way here. From Maxayo, who on your card, Matt has work to do. Three judges at ringside, Max Toluca, Lisa Jampa and Don Trella. Yeah, I mean, there were, there were, were a couple of rounds on my card that were close-ish that I went to Seha, but other than that, I think Seha's you know, been quite dominant. He's boxed well, hasn't he? Yeah. Especially after the knockdown that Maxayo can burst into life. Just leaning down on Seha there. Crowd getting excited. That's what you need to see from Maxayo, don't you? Has he really quick one? and a right hand has laid out Julio Seha and it is over. Knocked out Julio Seja after a brilliant attempt at taking out Mark Maxayo. The Filipino has spun this fight on its head and Sean Gibbons is in there congratulating him. But it was a bad knockout and our attention immediately goes to the stricken Julio Seja as the medics tend to him. And Maxayo with a thunderous knockout and quite rightly being told to mute the celebrations because that was a heavy heavy fall and he knocked